Hello everybody, this is Richard Cispedes, and we're here to play Fight Nights at Freddy's 2. Now, I've started to play this game just to kind of, uh, kind of understand it more before beginning this, this full, full play of Fight Nights at Freddy's. I never played part one, but I did watch, uh, Mark, uh, Kiplier, or however you say his name, um, uh, play part one and some of part two. And I'm very interested in it, and I got it. And uh, I played a few levels, and I understand the few concepts of it. Just checking the lights, checking the lights, make sure everything's okay right there. It's okay. Seems to be pretty good. Animatronics in place. Yep, in place. I'm here to talk you through some of the things you can expect to see during your first week here, and to help you get started down this new. Got a lot of different angles in this game to look at the hallways and the. Party room location, or whatever you call it. You know. uh, some people still and now we can look inside it these vents here, company. or crawl space vents. Uh, that old restaurant was kind of left to rot for quite a while, but uh, <clears> I to now, you, I'm going to let this guy uh, finish up and talk. Because he talks way too much. Facial recognition, advanced mobility. They even let them walk around during the day. What that mean? But most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal Nice posters back there. Promotional posters. The Heck, we should be paying them to guard you. Uh, and there they are standing said, there. No new system is without it. Kink. <coughs> uh, you're only the second guard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy finished his week. First, I'd like to say that the animatronics, uh, we they're just way the too damn scary so, for like... Hey, look, a Chuck E. Cheese type of whatever this place is, pizza place or whatever it is. For kids, I mean, there's multiple huge animatronics that walk around. And this is back in, I think, this is a prequel game. So, like, how would they have that technology for these robots to walk around and have the intelligence? The theory is that the robots were never given a proper night mode. So, when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So, then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. Everything in order? So our temporary solution is this. There's a music box over by the fire counter and it's ready. <clears throat> now I just want to remind you that I'm playing the game. So just every once in a while, it's 11 p.m. now, it's dark. I'm playing the game in the dark. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. Uh, and as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. You see, there may be a Should minor finish talking now. System. Something about robot safety so and everything's good. Seems to so be hey, okay. No mask. Just testing. Something else worth mentioning is kind of the quirky modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> uh, but hey, you have a life. And even though your flashlight right can run out of power, good. the building cannot. So don't worry about the flashlight. Gonna wind this thing up. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the light. Alright, you should be finished right about to. now. Uh, the well, there's Bonnie. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you Oh, tomorrow. there's Chica. Damn. Fast as hell. All right, so let's get to it, okay. So, for what I understand is that when the animatronics pop out of nowhere, you gotta put the mask on as quick as hell so that they don't attack you. Like immediately, as soon as you see any animatronic right in front of you, okay, now I have to turn my damn, oh, this damn wind up thing. And it goes down so damn fast. Okay. Okay. Okay, nothing there, nothing there, nothing in the middle. Right there is good. In the center, things are right. Thus far. Already creeping me out. 
Okay, okay, okay. So, lots of noise occurring. Winding up this damn thing again. Keep on forgetting to wind it up before it gets wasted, at least in the middle. Oh, now well, that's creepy. Okay. Well, I think this seems to be okay, but I'm not taking it off until I feel better. The first night shouldn't be so bad. When Mark did it, it was pretty damn quick, and I think that the first night is probably the quickest and most easiest to get through. Oh, damn wind up. I think even this character wearing the mask looks creepy. Hopefully I'll make it through, there have been no surprises coming around. Oh. Okay, now to go back again. When you're at the fourth night or third night, that's when they pop up, you know, when you're going to wind up that damn thing. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we should be close to the end of the level, I think. I mean, this is kind of long. Oh, man. Oh! Oh, yeah. First night. Went very, very well. No surprises, no nothing. 